I've been enjoying Regulator City in its current shape a lot. Probably more than working on it. I've just been playing it a lot. So um, it's a good thing because it's improving and I'm now working on a bunch of details and just fine tuning everything. All uh, to prepare a demo version for Kickstarter, uh, publisher, interest, whoever wants to play it or needs to play it so that we can actually finish the game. It's also the first video of the year that I'm gonna talk about the game. And it has been a couple of weeks since I showed you the game. So this video is just gonna be uh, bringing you up to speed on where the game is currently at. And also showing you some of the highlights of the bigger stuff I've been adding to the game and the changes I made. And there's a bunch of other tiny stuff, but I can't cover everything. So we're gonna cover the highlights. And that's still a lot. Also, we actually breached 10k subscribers um which is cool we almost did it in 2021 uh, we were shy i think 70 60 subscribers something like that so uh first couple of days into the new year we breached the 10k and it wasn't really a goal or anything but it's some sort of milestone or it feels like a milestone so uh thank you everybody who is part of these 10k and subscribed and also everybody who's still checking every video every week thanks a lot it helps me grow this channel and that helps me create games so it's all pretty cool so um thank you for subscribing and um it's been amazing um, on to the next 10k but for now on to the intro and then dive into regulator city First thing I'll have to show you is the city map. Um, I'm still working on this and tweaking things, but it has gotten a bunch of changes. First of all, um, we now have a list of missions. This is pretty much the uh, gangs you'll be facing. And if you select a gang, it will show um, their mission. There can be multiple missions. In that case, you can browse through all the buildings and areas. Um, and this is pretty much uh, how you're gonna be navigating the map. The, all the, the previous version had you are navigating through the buildings, which is fine. But if the city grows and you have a lot of buildings, that navigation system pretty much failed to deliver because you have to browse through a bunch of buildings. You don't know where you're going. If you want to go to the right or left, you don't know where the missions are. It's a lot of searching that just wasn't a lot of fun. So uh, this is going to be your quick way to find the missions. Uh, selecting the gangs right now, they are sorted based on uh, strongest gang and then the least stronger gangs underneath. Uh, right now there are only two gangs. That whole system has to be built still, but this navigation stuff is now up and running. So uh, let's first start at Regulator Headquarters. Um, haven't really tested what these guys are gonna do here, but um, we'll see. Right now we have a bunch of animations here. I should be adding some lights to this area. Uh, cool animations done by DMAC. Um, not sure they were in the last video, I don't think so. Uh, we also have different type of doors. So we don't have to breach and break down the doors in our own headquarters. They will now uh, slide open if you're near them and close if you're not. Uh, there are a couple of other doors that are locked or blocked and things like that. So uh, there are multiple types of doors now, uh, much cooler. Let me just uh, quickly go back to the mission screen. Let's uh, dive into one of the missions. Um, Intel gathering. No, let's just do this one first. I also added a dialogue system now. Right now, this is just random text, but the dialogue system is operational and it can do a bunch of things already. Uh, we just have to implement the stuff that we need it for. So, on the, you say something, and then the bad guys say something, and then we can actually continue. So if you're new to the channel, um, a lot of work has gone into the AI. I'm controlling only this person right here, the yellow one, and the others are controlled by the computer and they'll try to make, uh, make it work and they'll try to back you up and attack enemies if needed. And I'm still trying to get all that AI stuff improved and even better. There's a bunch of things I want to talk about in a minute. Uh, for now, let's just create a lot of death and destruction. I also added interesting stuff to the background. So we have these garage doors and if you get near them, they open up. 
and a bunch of random dudes will spawn out of it. And we just lost a member, but we can revive him or her or it. I'm flexible. Another example of the dialogue system, we have security cameras. Another thing I've been adding into the game, uh, there will be cameras all over the place and you can actually deactivate them using um, finding the security camera, computer or room or whatever, uh, disabling it and that will make sure there are less enemies spawning around you. So uh, going to be some tactics here and there. Right now we're with uh, four, they are just shadowing me. And as soon as we engage enemies, we will be splitting up and they will start um, taking care of these enemies themselves if needed. And then we'll start breaching this door. They will know they should be at the other door and the other guy knows he has to be my backup. So there's now two, versus, two on two and we should be able, well, sometimes they just mess things up. Still a work in progress. Uh, let's get them to the door and just breach it. They have no patience. Breach it from two sides and then we shut down the security computer. Even though the cameras don't really do anything yet, but that system is up and running. So our next phase is actually making those cameras detect you and um, spawn enemies or something around you. Let's just quickly go through the map and uh, destroy everything. I also implemented um, the strength of bullets. So if you're very near to an enemy, you can just kill him with probably one bullet because it's much better placed and positioned. If you do it from a longer distance, it might take two, three bullets, depending on how the difficulty is and how well the enemies are and all that stuff. So uh, a bunch of extra systems have been added to the game and everything that's working. We now just need to tweak it and um, improve it. Having that bullet system up and running means we can add different weapons so that certain weapons will just be much stronger even from a long distance and um, other weapons might be extremely powerful from a very short distance. It's all very flexible now. So that was a example of Street View entering a city. Um, we also have roof access but for that i need to quickly tweak something we've also been adding edges and borders around the city uh, there are a couple of different ones this is a mountain like view uh, there are like i said a few different ones that will um, just change the look and are just random um, scenery All right, so we now have a bunch of buildings. We now also have a very tall building and uh, there's now a chance that you'll have to actually enter this building from the top. So you're using a chopper instead of the car. And the street view is replaced with this rooftop view with uh, doves and birds and all that stuff. And uh, we'll just have to find our way into the building. These birds aren't afraid of a lot. And we have the entrance to the building. So um, we mix the street view with a rooftop view. There's also a sewer. I haven't really implemented it yet. And maybe we'll come up with a couple of other ideas. But uh, this is now also all implemented. And of course, again, great artwork and bird animation from Dylan DMAC, the intern, who is with us for only a few more weeks from now on. But he did a lot of amazing stuff. And now it's up to me to actually make it all uh, look and run and work and be a game that we can actually release. So there's still a lot of work left and there will be a lot of artwork done by me um, eventually. But for now... But it's already looking very cool.
And as you can see, there are little animations like a washing machine is dancing over here. We have a speaker, there should be some notes uh, animation coming out. We have a record player, we have an arcade cabinet. There's just a bunch of cool little animations that don't really serve any purpose besides uh, just looking interesting and cool and funny and uh, filling out this world. We have some bad guys doing some training. You can shoot at them, but they won't die just yet. That's something I still have to implement. And um, all in all, the game is starting to look uh, like an actually solid playable game. So. Um, there's still a lot of stuff that has to be done and a lot of gameplay and content that needs to be made but i'm now really working and focusing on making this a playable demo like i said at the beginning um i want this version to be at least representative of the, the full game or what i have in mind not everything is there yet because i haven't figured out everything yet but i want this to be playable and uh, showable to other people for example, in the case of a Kickstarter, uh, people will be able to play the demo and make a decision on that if they want to back the, the Kickstarter or not. And if I want to show it to publishers, uh, they at least have something to play with and they can see that there's a lot of stuff already there, a lot of gameplay already there, and hopefully get a good indication of where this game is going and what it can be. So um, I have one more cool thing that I wanted to show you. Uh, right now, there's a lot of just uh, people running around shooting each other. But there is some little bit of futuristic stuff going on here and there. Um, let me just show you one little thing that we've also been adding to the game. And I think then we covered most of it. So let's quickly start another mission on the street view. And um, at the end of the street, it should be uh, visible. Let's just head over there. And there you can already start seeing it and there it is um, a cool meteorite crashed into uh, the street the idea here is that these meteorites will have different type of aliens or creatures or critters crawling out on the street you'll have to take care of those uh, by killing them and there might be some uh, interesting weapon upgrade type thingies or whatever um, that can be grabbed at this location in that case you will be able to upgrade your weapons or maybe get some sort of futuristic type of uh, weaponry from the aliens um, anyway it, it, i want to add things like this little things you don't expect to show up in the game just randomness so i kind of think this looks uh, pretty cool and um more of these things will be added and i think that pretty much covers all uh, the big stuff that's also interesting to show in a video of course, there have been a huge amount of little changes and tweaks and fixes and, and improvements, but they aren't really visible or not something I can show you. Uh, they are just there in the game and you will notice them if you ever play the game that it makes the game a lot better that these things have been done. But this is all the cool visual stuff I can show you. Um, that also means end of the video because I need to uh, do some changes and tweaks to the AI. There were some things that I've been pretty much messing up and it doesn't take a lot to mess up the AI. Just a couple of changes here and there and suddenly these guys don't do the things they should be doing or were doing before. But uh, that's what we have backups for, luckily. So I'm gonna dive back into the AI code. Thanks for watching. Next week will probably be something more focused of a devlog or maybe I'll, I'll talk about my to-do list because I had some questions from people about that. So that could be an interesting topic to just cover a little bit as well. That's gonna be next week. Thanks for watching and make sure to uh, comment below if you have any remarks on this or any comments on the game or any questions or ideas, drop them down there. Uh, like, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next week. So uh, thanks for watching, bye.